in Shockton, Ohio, bacon capital of the world. In order to call something bacon, it has to come from the belly of a pig. A combination of those strips of lean, strips of fat, gives that flavor, that crispiness. It's really good. I'm Scott Brackenbush. I'm a meat scientist for Oscar Mayer. Bacon is a really simple product. There's not many things that are added to it, so you have to start with a nice, lean belly. Well, this is the uh, brine mixing room. It's pretty simple stuff. You probably got a five pound bag of this in your cupboard at home. Same with this over here. Oh, Oscar Mayer has been making bacon for over 90 years, getting the right mixture of salt and sugar. That's something that we've built our quality around. But it's really important to take time for the flavors to meld with each other. There's that balance that you get when you don't rush it. After curing, we moved the bacon into the smokehouse. We actually used a mixture of maple and birch and beech wood from northern Wisconsin. It smells great. This has got about six hours to go. It's changed color to this nice reddish brown color. That smoke and the brine doing its job there. It's been brined, it's been cured, and it's been smoked. We're getting close. There's a lot of quality control going on here. I need bacon that they see that doesn't meet our standards. We'll get removed from the line. Oscar Mayer was the first company to actually slice and package bacon for retail sale in 1924. 1973, Oscar Mayer developed and actually promoted the use of the back window so that consumers could see the quality of the Oscar Mayer bacon. There's our bacon. <laughs> it's good. <laughs>